Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, it's uh, pretty weird that I was here a year ago, right here on this stage in the same spot, and here we are again. So I think at this rate, maybe we should, uh, you know, book this spot for next year too. Too. Hopefully, let's see how this team does next year. Maybe a three peat, but here we are celebrating a back-to-back -back championship and fans have just filed into Gampo Pavilion. They came in here about five minutes ago. Here they are starting to fill the lower bowl up. Husky Nation is back here at the basketball capital of the world after last night's celebration here on campus. I was here last night as well. It was very exciting, a lot of energy, uh, and well-behaved as well. Students uh, kept everything intact. You know, campus looks good, but tonight the students are back here. The uh, a lot of other fans, too, are back in the basketball capital of the world here at Gamble uh, for tonight's celebration. Now, we're going to show you the podium here, uh, a few chairs on each side, and if last year, if it goes the same as last year, we'll probably hear from, of course, head coach Dan Hurley. Uh, last year, I remember uh, the athletic director Dave Benedict said a few words, and a few players said a few words as well. So I'm assuming that will most likely happen here tonight. So a lot of energy fans are really excited to see this team. I mean, here in Connecticut, this is what we're known for. We're known for basketball and pizza, right? I mean, those are the two main things people talk about when they think of Connecticut. And the Huskies, they just did it again and brought a lot of excitement to this fan base and to this university and just the entire state. But, you know, while we were waiting uh, for this team and the fans to get here, like uh, Joe was saying, a lot of hurry up and wait in this type of process here. We noticed, uh, I think Gamble might need some uh, redecorating soon. You see the 2023 banner. Uh, there looks like there's some room left uh, for a 2024 banner as well. But if this keeps up at this rate, who knows? They might run out of room eventually. But there is room for that 2024 banner. We'll probably see that at the beginning of next season. You see some fans here, uh, some of the people here at the university handing out some cardboard cutouts. You see in that front row there, it looks like it's Donovan Klingen would look like sipping a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. Uh, some nice NIL money coming from Dunkin' right there. A nice ad for Klingen. Obviously, he's going to be the big Connecticut guy that everyone's talking about. You see Cam Spencer cardboard cutout. Paint a little to the left. That looks like Stefan Castle. And these fans will be seeing the actual players in just a few minutes. And being an alumni here at UConn, uh, this is awesome. You know, I feel like I'm at it. I'm a kid in a candy store right now just seeing all the fans and waiting for the players to come in and just how excited I was personally uh, for UConn winning a championship last night. So uh, still waiting on the team to get here. I know Eliza was saying they are on their way up uh, from the airport here to stores, but Husky Nation is ready to see them. There's still a lot more fans filing in. The music is going, so this is going to be quite the party here. The party continues a day after the national championship. Hector, I want to ask you a question, but I want to explain to people that there is a delay because you're in an yeah. arena, and this is a lot of cell phone technology right here, so folks just have to bear with us for just a moment. You were there last night as well. It's obviously more subdued now. People are sitting down and ready to celebrate. How did last night differ from a year ago when they had a lot more arrests and more problems? It seemed to be pretty good last night, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, last night was just that, you know, they were saying you win like champions, celebrate like champions. That's exactly what it was last night. You know, obviously you have those big crowds. You, it, they're college kids, right? I mean, you're, you're going to be excited. You know, it's going to get loud. It's going to get rowdy. But compared to a year ago, yeah, compared to a year ago, you know, the windows were still intact. Last year, the windows were smashed. Light poles came down. That wasn't the case this year. So, like I said, the team played like champions. They celebrated like champions. And it was a really good celebration last night.